Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor lawyer turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 11, eight, and six. And if you are interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and homeschooling in a more essentialist way, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Nowadays, if you don't wanna miss any of the videos, you do have to hit that notification bell, but I will leave that up to you guys. So today I wanted to show you a workbook that we have not used yet. I just picked this up on my own because I thought it would be an interesting addition to my youngest curriculum for next year. She is a hybrid kindergartner first grader this year. She's much more of a kindergartner when it comes to her language arts. So I thought this would be right on par for her for next year. This is the Mad Libs workbook for grade one reading. I love Mad Libs. We all enjoy them. We do a Mad Lib a day or so. And it's just a super fun way for us to review our parts of speech. I'm sure you guys have experience with Mad Libs, but I was just curious to see what the inside of this workbook would be. It is by the Mad Libs company, published by Penguin Random House. And I really like it. It is designed to be a game. So they can practice their parts of speech in a fun way. And I think, you know, while we do have academic rigor, I think that little fun activities like this are always fun. So you have a little quick review about what nouns, verbs, and adjectives are on the first page. And then when you go on, the actual lessons go through different phonics lessons. So you're talking about short A here. You're adding the short A into the words, tracing the word here. This is quite small, so definitely for first grade, I would say. And then you have different short A words here in different categories. As in all of their younger Mad Lib books, they use pictures as opposed to any particular classification word. So the student will pick any word from here for the banana, blanks, any word from here for the bone blanks, etc. They can read that cat sat, fill in the right words, and read the entire Mad Lib to you. This is a book that students can do entirely on their own. You'll notice we're going through short I, short O, short E. The stories are becoming a little longer. The student has about one, two, three, four, five, six words to fill in. Here it's a little bit more. You've got nine words to fill in for short U. And then we're moving into blends like blah, stuh, and they have all of those words here. So black, glass, flat, slug, snake, fish. I think these are really fun ways of letting your student create a fun story and reading it to everybody. Another way of doing this with Mad Libs so that they don't have to just pick their words is covering up their story first, having them pick the word randomly, like a typical Mad Lib, and then just seeing how silly their story ends up. Another way of doing it is giving them a die so that they can roll it. And if they roll a three here, then they have to pick the one, two, third thing here. Or if they roll a four here, they have to pick the fourth thing. So those are all ways to make Mad Libs more fun. Generally, when we do Mad Libs together as a family, we just go through and I have everybody list the next part of speech that I need. So I'll have everyone list a verb, everyone list an adjective, everyone list a um, noun, etc., And then we'll just plug them in. I won't tell them the topic of the story or anything, so the sillier the better. But as I'm flipping through this book, you can see that every single lesson follows the same format. You have an introduction to the phonics sound, and then you have a little fill in the blank for those sounds that they're highlighting. You have a sight word section where you're saying it, spelling it, and tracing it. And then you have a Mad Libs with a word bank to help you out. So we're going through the long vowels, R controlled vowels, variant vowels, inflection endings like S and ED and ING. Now we're talking about parts of speech themselves, noun, here, verbs, pronouns, adjectives, but you can see that the words themselves are still staying in different categories in a sort of random fashion. Conjunctions, prepositions, end punctuation, etc. compound word there. And then you have a very um, easy and obvious answer key so that you can see exactly what needed to go in those word blanks. Obviously, this is not in the answer key because it could be anything that you decide. So this is a really simple, nice little addition, I think, to our curriculum for next year. One of the things I like best about it is it does go over a little phonics practice every time. And it just is a very empowering workbook. So students can do it very much on their own and they can have a little practice reading aloud and making us all laugh. So I think this will be a nice, nice addition to her first grade curriculum for next year. I just wanted to share it with you in case you hadn't seen the inside of these Mad Libs workbooks yet. 
As always, you guys, I will link this down below, probably in my Amazon store. I appreciate it whenever you guys use my affiliate links. It like, you know, helps me <laughs> stay on track with doing these videos and motivates me to keep sharing things with y'all. And I do appreciate it. So as always, thank you so much for spending some time with me and I wish you the very best day.